Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to look at proportional relationships today, um, linear relationships, um, and we'll see how they relate to slope, actually. So let's get started. Proportional relationships mean that um, there are two numbers, and they change consistently. So if they increase, they'll increase consistently. If they decrease, they decrease consistently. They the increase or decrease is as at a consistent rate and that's an important word that we'll be using today so they um, <clears throat> they can be expressed using equivalent ratios and they can be shown in many ways like on tables graphs or equations and I'll try and show examples of each of those let's look at some proportions just so that we understand that vocabulary proportions look like this if I have the fraction or ratio of 6 to 12 I can reduce that down to being 3 over 6. I could also reduce that down to being 1 half or increase it to being 12 over 24 or increase it to being 60 over 120. All of these are proportional. In other words, they are all equivalent ratios and they all increase at the same rate. All right, and that's the, the relationship between the top number and the bottom number. They're both increasing at the same rate. In this case, um, the first one, they're decreasing by a rate of 2. In the second one, they're decreasing by a rate of 6. In this one, they're increasing by a rate of 2. And in this one, they are increasing by a rate of 10. That is the rate that they are increasing or decreasing. And just a hint. That's the slope. All right, the slope is the regular rate at which a proportion increases or decreases. All right, <clears throat> let's look at an equation now. We've got an equation of y is equal to 2x. That means that, um, well, let's take a look at it in a table of values. For every x value, and we, I just picked these x values at random, for every x value, the y value is two times as much. You can see that y value is equal to 2 times x. So when x is 1, y is 2 times 1. When x is 2, y is 2 times 2. And if you look at these numbers in relation to each other, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 5 to 10, you'll notice that they are proportional. You could set them up as equivalent fractions. These are all proportional. So this equation is an example of a proportional equation. Let me show you another one. In this one, we're going to use y is equal to 3x. We'll put it on a graph in two steps. First, we'll do our table of values. I'm going to plug in some numbers for x, 1, 2, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and solve for my y values by multiplying them times 3. That gives me a set of x, y coordinates, in other words, ordered pairs, that I can plot on a graph. I'll plot the point 2, 6, the point 0, 0. I'm plotting the point 1, 3, negative 1, negative 3, negative 2, negative 6. And when I plot those points on a graph, you'll notice that you get a straight line. This is called a linear equation, or the equation of a line. And linear equations, equations of straight lines, represent proportional equations. Or they are another way of saying proportional equations. So let's do a little bit of vocab. Proportional relationships, or proportional equations, they will have two variables. We usually call them x and y, but you can really call them whatever you want. They'll have two variables that do not have exponents. They will have a constant rate of change. In other words, they will have a constant slope. And if you graph it, you will get a straight line. Those are the characteristics of proportional relationships. Now, we've mentioned slope a couple of times. I want to go ahead and define slope. Slope is defined in a couple of ways. One, it is the rise over the run, or in other words, how much it changes up and down over how much it changes side to side. And that's written as a ratio, a fraction, the rise over the run, how much it changes up and down over how much it changes side to side. It, a slope of a line is constant. 
In other words, the slope doesn't change when it goes higher up the line or lower down the line. If it is a straight line, then the slope will be constant. And in an equation, this is where you find the slope. The slope is the number in front of the x. If the equation set up as y equals something times x, that would be your, the number times x is your slope. In this case, 2 is your slope. I know that that's kind of a lot, and we'll talk about slope a little bit more, but you sort of have to understand the basics of slope to get into this next question. So I wanted to do a quick overview of slope. So let's compare two proportional relationships that are written in different ways. Number one, I have a graph below here. It shows the cost of blue towing company charges per mile they drive with an additional pickup fee of $20. So you see that the graph starts at 20 and then goes up at a consistent rate. That rate of change or how much it goes up over time that it goes across would be called the slope. Red towing company's rate can be found by this equation. The cost is equal to 1.5 times the number of miles. So our job is to compare the cost of the towing companies. The way I'm going to do that is to actually put the red towing company's line on this graph. So to do that, I have to fill in a table of values. I'm going to fill it in for the number of miles at 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. The reason I'm doing that is because those are the numbers that are listed on the graph. So it'll be nice and easy for us to actually plot those points. So I'm multiplying each of these m values times 1.5. Notice that this equation is not y equals 1.5x. Instead, it's c equals 1.5m. That doesn't matter. Our slope is 1.5. That's the number in front of our x value. Our x value in this case is, or our x variable is m in this case. We could rewrite that as y equals 1.5x if it made us feel better, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm going to um, take my m values, my miles here, and I multiply them times 1.5, 1.5 times m, and it will give me those values. I'm going to go ahead and plot those points on this graph, 10 and 15, 20 and 30, 30 and 45, 40 and 60, and then 50 and 75. And although they look kind of funny, um, they are the points of a straight line. So you can see my straight line for red company goes through there. Now that we have them both on a graph, it's easier for us to actually compare them. So we can start answering some questions. Which line has a greater slope? In other words, which line increases more steep? Well, the red line has a greater slope. It increases more quickly. The blue line starts up higher, but it does not increase as quickly. So red has a greater slope than blue. Who's charging more? Well, that's a relative question, right? Up until about this point, you can see where um, we've hit 40 miles. Up until this point, red towing company is actually cheaper than blue towing company. But then after that point, blue towing company is actually cheaper than the red towing company. So who's charging more? Depends how many miles you drive. If you drive 500 miles, red's going to be quite a bit more expensive. But if you're only driving 10 miles, then, then blue would be more expensive. So it depends on the, the mileage. And then the most important question, of course, is which color is better? And in this case, of course, the clear answer is blue. All right, so I hope that that comparison has been helpful. This is the type of question that you'll see when you're comparing proportional relationships. You might be comparing a graph to an equation like we did in this case. We might be comparing a graph to a table of values. You might be comparing all of those different things together, but a graph a table of values and an equation are all kind of interchangeable in that you could take any of them and make them into a graph so that you can actually compare those lines a little bit easier by having that visual aid. Hope that lesson's been helpful for you. 
Here are the Common Core Anchor and Eligible Content that you for your reference. Have a great day.